be in the law of attraction and manifestations, I made it go slower. My destination's changed. Printing out an awful lot of stuff that I've got to take to the visa center. I've got our fingerprints taken, be interviewed and stuff. And we still don't have a visa. It's time to start packing. In this video, I take you to London with me as I go to apply for my long-term visa to go to Greece. So it's quite a complicated process. There's lots of information in the description, which hopefully will help you. I started out at Harley Street where I had to go for a medical. I look bit toilet vlogging. <laughs> I've walked a flipping long way, which I didn't think I could do, but we're here now. Um, so just could get my, my medical done, fingers crossed. Right, cool, so that's all done. They're just taking my bloods um, in the back of my hand, which is a bit of a shame, but hey ho. Um, just to check if there's anything, any diseases or anything like that. But otherwise the forms will be posted out to me in a couple of days. So that's good. So they're going to be very happy about that. Um, so yeah, I'm going to, I'm not going to walk back to the train station. I'm going to get um, a tube now. Right, I'm trying to get my photographs for my visa. I'm not doing very well. So it's saying here you've got India or official documents approved or should i just get a photo should i just get passport photos i've got no idea and i can't believe it's quite 10 pounds but anyway i'm not looking my best today but i don't kind of care very much so what should i do what's the difference they look the same to me other than that they've got visa written on them right well whatever you're doing don't follow what i'm doing because i don't really know Jas Jasmine's helping the man in the next door one because he couldn't understand it and I can't understand either. Uh. So my photos are being printed so I'm just going to wait for those and I'm going to go get a nice little hot chocolate. It's not been the best time for us. I'll talk to you when I'm back in the office about what's gone on. Okay so this really made me laugh. Look at that. It's from Nando's isn't it? How funny. She is quite hot though. Let's face it. What am I, 75? Okay, good evening. Right, I'm in the office, as I promised. Still looking a state. Oh, so embarrassing of those photos earlier. Right, I've got to put in a police report um, form now for a certificate to show that I haven't got any, obviously, criminal convictions or anything like that. It is long. It is long. What I'd suggest you probably do, and I know this is not great for, for the world, but print out everything and then you can write on it write notes on it stuff like that so i've just paid 55 pounds to get a, a 12 day 12 working day turnaround service on that so hopefully that's going to work okay and not take too long i did a bank transfer hopefully i've done it or i just got to send it off to them now um and then i'm gonna get a receipt in my inbox and then i shall print that receipt out because i'm going to claim all these costs back at a later stage but every single time i do one i put the receipt back if that's making any sense. So there's a lot, there's a lot to do. I'll pop all links in the description box below just to let you know how I've done it and what I've done. And yeah, so it is a lot. It's like flipping while trying to go to Australia, but. Oh, good morning. It's a little update for me. Very early in the morning here, 6.30. I'm just on my way to the gym. But I thought I would give you a quick update about what's happening regarding my visa. And some of the things that I say will be completely alien to you and a few other tips that I've got might be stating the obvious, but if you don't know, you don't know. So at the moment, I've just sent off for my police check. Now, I haven't got anything on my record, so there shouldn't be any issues with that at all. I'm not concerned about it, but it's taken a long time to come back for most people. So I spoke to somebody yesterday, a future potential colleague, um, and well, what is it now? It's the middle of May now, so I think it's the 19th today. And she sent her police check off on the 17th of April. Now we have had a lot of bank holidays, but it's supposed to be 12 working days. So I've planned that mine might come back next week. And once that comes back, what I've then got to do, because they email you to say it's coming back and then they send it in the post. So when you receive the paper copy, you then send it to um, something called an apostle service and that's uh, a p o s t i l l e i think um so on this apostle service it's going to cost me about 72 pounds 
and what they do is they put a stamp on it you know the ones that you can feel on a paper that's what an apostle is and then um, and then I've got to scan that in and send it back to the company that I'm going to be working for when I've done that they then release some more information and tell me the next steps then I can book to go to the Greek Embassy and get my visa now I've heard that this this is an all-day occasion you'll be up there for most of the day um, and then they take your passport away from you so if you wanted to go anywhere which I've just come back from Menorca just have a little four night break there if you want to go somewhere um, then do it before you really get your police check done so um, that's a handy thing to know and then yeah so when that's back they then say to me okay um, now we can book your visa which then I think when that goes up or you've got about three week wait for your appointment but once that goes up you'll then when they take the passport from you you'll then have a period of time where they then say okay you've got it they let you know and then they pop it back in the post to come back to you now another example that I've got somebody I spoke to from the UK she got told last Friday that her that her visa had been approved the company had booked her flights for Monday evening the following Monday evening so like four days away and her passport didn't arrive until Monday morning so if that was me I'd be sitting there with my bags semi-packed and I'd be having my lift organized but thinking well I'm obviously not going to catch that flight because XYZ and um, so it is a bit of a faff but I'm grateful that you know Greece is one of the countries that does it and um, Spain doesn't do it I don't know where else but you know so I'm hanging on in there it's gonna end up I think costing me about 500 pounds in all which is a lot of money and I've had to draw that from savings and I could claim it back from my employer when I get there um, but not everybody's gonna do it that way some people will want to go just off their own back now I found out a couple of other things as well so your phone if you've got a UK contract will be cut off after three months of being somewhere because they assume it's stolen apparently is what I was told from someone in the in the um, thing so what you need to do is after three months take your sim out and put in a local sim and I freaked out when I first heard about this but then when I thought about it and spoke to my daughter I was like well really the only things that you use an actual sim for now other than obviously your data but an actual telephone part is if somebody's texting you that's not on iPhone which well just get an iPhone because that's rude no I'm joking I'm joking you can have what you want um but if somebody was um, trying to phone you, phone you. So I don't know, I might put a number on, a, a message on my um, voicemail just to say, please, if you can't get through on this number, please email me and then put my email address. I might do that. It feels a bit easier to do that. Um, but yeah, it's a bit of a concern because I've got a lot of emergency contacts for my mum that have got my number. So I don't know, I don't know. Anyway, I'm sure it'll be fine. I'm sure we'll get by. Um, but the other things that I've done as well is I've been, well, going next week actually to the dentist. I've been to the opticians. I've got new glasses coming and I've got two pairs as well, just in case. And, um, you know, doing all them little things now while I'm waiting. So I think that's quite a good tip. So hopefully that helps. I will be back when I'm going to the visa centre and you can come with me. Well, I'm going to give you a little update. Hello, um, on my visa application. So where are we at now? This is what's happened. So it's the 7th of June today, I believe. And um, surprisingly, I am getting closer. This feels like it's taking ages, doesn't it? But I'm getting there bit by bit, which is good because I need more than just this fake town. Look, look, I've got black eyes going on. Anyway, so what's happened is I got, um, I had to send off for a police report. So that's to check that you don't have any criminal background, um, who, where your family's from, all that sort of thing. And even though, like my dad isn't here anymore they still wanted to know what his name was and what his date of birth was and all that sort of stuff it was quite involved so once that that took a little while to come back and once that was back I then could send that to something to be called apostled I can put links below I think I'll just double check if I can do that um but I'll put links below if if I can so what an apostle is is a stamp it's just like a seal of approval. It's like, this is definitely a real thing. 
and that's just come back today so that's gone off now to i've got to get some more information and then i can apply for my appointment to go up to london to get my visa which is a bit scary because i've got um oh crikey i've got quite a lot booked quite a lot booked on and in my eyes it looks like three weeks tomorrow i'm going to be going if i can get it the way i want to i've got some hospital appointments and things like that i've got to go to so i'm just going off to the shops now i'm trying to get as much as i can up to date um, but that's the visa process so far if i can do any filming in the visa center i will but i'll give you an update when we go in there i shall tell you this just really really quickly um my um oh my son's just texted me my place my destination's changed i've just had a phone call this afternoon from greece to say that my destination's changed really weird so i thought i'd just literally say that that's i'm not going to say anything more because i want you to guess where i am good afternoon it's time it's visa time let's update you on the visa so the date is now the 19th of june oh my god my contract is started over a month ago and here i am trying out my hairstyle for my new job because it's windy over there printing out an awful lot of stuff that i've got to take to the visa center i cannot list it with you i think it's different depending on who you're working with loads of it's in greek this is when i wish i spoke in greek um but on thursday which is two days three days away we're going up to London to the visa centre, so hopefully I can film a little bit and show you there what happened. But I'm on the home straight now, so this is the last thing, hopefully, that I should need to do. But you have to do loads of things, like you have to sort of photocopy your passport and also give them your passport. And then I've got the police checks done and the medicals done and, and all bit by bit. So wishing me luck. Um, it's feeling very real now. So, yeah, I will see you at the visa centre. Good morning. It is the 22nd of June. I'm going to the visa centre today, which is so exciting. I'm a little bit nervous. I'm going to get a train up to London. Um, and I think what's got to happen is I've got our fingerprints taken, be interviewed and stuff. I've got a whole load of paperwork with me um, to take up then. I've been through the list 15 times. Got a cute little dress on because it's very summery outside. Look at that weather. Um, so it should be kind of the downward thing now. And then hopefully... Well, I'll find out later and I'll tell you more, but I think within three to six days, we get information that we've got our visa and it'll be on its way. Um, and then I've got to let my company know that I'm going, that I've got it. And then I think they book my flights and I go. So, but I'll keep you updated. So let's go to London together. I'll film whatever I can. So this is King's Cross. We just got off the train. I never really had a place to call my own, so I travel and I roam till I find that. So the London one's up there, and I can see a massive queue outside, which I'm not going to do too well with that. Um, see if we can navigate indoors. Okay, so I went there, and here I am in the old coffee shop. Have a little snack to show you. And I'll tell you what annoys me. Okay, so I'm at the visa centre now, excuse that light, horrible, horrible. It's, I've been waiting for two and a half hours and I was literally only in there for 10 minutes. The man said I was his favourite because everything was really organised, which is amazing. Um, and they've put it through to do it fast, so it should be back within a week. So I could then fly within a week, so that's very scary. Um, but he was from Athens as well, so he said that's going to be... Um, he, he knows where I was going and everything, he said it's really good. But yeah, it's literally taken probably four months, I suppose, to get to this stage. He said to me, you're very late going out in the season. I went, yeah, yeah, I know. But anyway, done now. So I'm going to get the train home and I'll update you when I've got my visa back. Please excuse the weirdness of this video, but I'm just away, as you can tell by the... Look, they're not curtains in my house. So I'm at a dance weekend and I had a an email through from my company to say... With my visa, I needed to add on a um, original medical certificate. The medical certificate I took was a printout from the email they sent me. So I've either got one at home or I'm going to have to get them to send me a new one, which they said they don't know how long that's going to be. 
so that's a bit of a concern that's put a spanner in the work so now i'm a little bit like oh i don't know i think the company's still waiting for me though so it's not a massive problem um but anyway so there should be one of those on the way and then when that's come hopefully well i have to send it by post to them so i'm reckoning that's going to take another week so it's saturday now so by the time i get home tuesday and either source it or it's come through the post and then i've got to post it to them for next day delivery so it's going to be another week before my visa's done and then i've asked the boss lady um out there like how long then will it be before i go and she said between seven to ten days so i've got at least another two weeks um in the uk before i'll be going which is it's okay i'm okay with that but i don't know i just yeah i don't know it's just a bit so it's okay when i go out that's obviously going to be really really hot so but yeah so let that be a lesson to you make sure everything that you take is original documents that's the only thing that's holding it up so fingers crossed once that's gone in i should then get the visa and then i can go good morning how you doing right i'm going to give you an update on the visa process what's going on i think it's the 6th of july today so i started applying for this in march it feels like it's taken forever um but i've had a lot of stress so i think the last time you saw me i was at the visa center in um london and that all seemed to go really smoothly and i was getting regular text updates to say what was happening with it um and i was like oh this is going really fast getting a bit nervous about how fast it was going and me and the law of attraction and manifestations i made it go slower and um, so what happened was i then was contacted um to say that the medical certificate that i'd printed out of my from an email where the i'd used a company called doctor call and um and i had to go into harley street it took a whole day had blood tests taken the doctor was brilliant um she's actually going to make a little piece in my book that i'm writing about this whole process and um yeah she was great but the clinic was closing down the next day so of course that gave me a problem when i didn't receive the physical copy and they said that they sent one and i believed them but it, it never arrived and the post has been really really weird so i said that's fine can you do me another copy please and they said not really because the doctor doesn't come into the office and we need the doctor to sign it and i said can you get another doctor to sign it and they said absolutely not um because of ethical reasons which i fully understand but then they said the doctor's coming in on friday and she'll sign it off it didn't happen oh doctor's coming in on monday she'll sign it off monday it turned out the clinic was completely closed so it was a load of stress long story short i spent all day two days ago on the phone to them and i didn't get anywhere so that that was let that be a lesson to you if you are going make sure you have all original documents of everything like you'll need to i think leave a a copy of your passport or something but take the original as well you must take everything so i did that um except for with the medical certificate so i just went online and googled and i found a company i need to massively shout them out called zoom doc and i looked at the reviews there i think they were google reviews and they were outstanding so i did an online chat and <laughs> I thought, you know, it's funny because on this day I was so stressed. I was getting shivery one minute and then really hot the next. And I knew I wasn't ill. I knew I was just getting myself stressed and in a bit of a pickle about it. So up came this lady called Olivia online and she was really helpful and she gave me big long messages and it takes a bit of going backwards and forwards, doesn't it? But anyway, in the end, I had a phone call from somebody who said, my name's Neil. I can tell that you're very stressed and let me help you. I'll, I'll tell you what I need you to do for me, he said, and this is how he said it. Um, and he listed everything that I needed to do. And he said, if you can do that within the next hour, I've got doctors here. We can sign you off a new certificate and send it to you in the post. And we can courier it to you tomorrow morning for a hundred pounds. Now, the company that I'm going with have already said they'll pay whatever it takes to get this certificate, which was really generous of them and they've been really patient. So that was also impressive. And I was like, this is really, this seems really simple now. And he did actually sound the phone. He went, you should have come to me a long time ago, shouldn't you? I was like, absolutely yes. Because it was the same day return. So I did all the things I had to do. 
um, I'd suggest you check them out if you're looking to get a visa to go somewhere because it was just so simple. They made it so simple. And then when they said they're going to send a courier the next morning, um, I said, is there any chance you can get that courier to go straight to the visa embassy place in Greece? And he's uh, not in Greece, sorry, in London, Greek embassy. And, uh, and he was like, yeah, of course we can. Um, and it's going to cost you a lot less money. It costs 15 pounds because it's only around the corner from them. So that happened. I ended up with a, a, a copy on, a digital copy online, not like online for everyone to see, you know what I mean. And then there was a, a physical copy went the following morning to them. There's a physical copy on its way to me and I'm gonna assume the visa center received it yesterday and that should be the last thing. But I was so impressed at how simple they made it and I've spent weeks trying to sort this out from other means. So definitely, I'll link them below if I can remember. Um, I will do my best to remember, but they're Zoom Doc, and I think they're London based, but they could probably, it's mostly online, so they could probably deal with that anywhere. So that's that bit, and it should the next bit should be me getting a message from the visa center to say your passport is ready to be sent, and then for them to send it, and then, my company will book me a flight and off I will go. So um, nervous and excited. Um, I've got a few issues going on here that I won't go into in this video because you've come here to find out about my visa process. Um, the book is coming along actually quite nicely. I'm, I've, yeah, like I said, there's so much going on. So I'm gonna spend a little hour or two in the gym this morning. I've got a lot of pain in my back I need to get rid of. And then um, I'm gonna get myself a cheeky coffee in Starbucks and sit and do some writing. So I hope things are good with you. Um, let me know in the comments if you're looking for your visa. I will, I will update you when the next stage happens, but I think that's gonna be really, really soon. So it might even be today. So let's see. Um, yeah, all right, catch you in a bit. Hey, so the funniest thing, which actually isn't funny at all, it's now July the, oh, what is it? I think it's the 13th today, and we still don't have a visa. And the funniest thing, I've been doing stuff like getting um, a washing and that done, and um, thinking, right, there's all my clean knickers that I'm taking, etc., etc., and then having to wear them again because the visa's still not here. So I have chased up the visa centre. I've also asked my company, I'm like, can you chase it up anyhow? But I haven't got anywhere. I've sent an email to the visa center, but it just keeps saying the same thing that's being processed in consular. So I'm just hoping that they have actually opened the um, the medical certificate that I've sent up. So, I mean, considering, you know, I was supposed to start on the 15th of May, here we are two months on, May, June, July, yeah. Um, and I'm still not there. So, you know, it was me sort of taking my time with it and now I wish I kind of got a wriggle on, but never mind hopefully there'll be some news within the next couple of days i was thinking it might i might be going on sunday so we've got flights out there sundays and wednesdays but it's definitely not going to happen on sunday so i shall keep you posted oh you're not going to believe this so i just finished that video didn't i and i've been to a, uh, an award ceremony for a couple of hours and i checked my phone once i'm talking to the camera jess and then i checked my phone because that's what you do and um and it said, your passport is on its way. Now, I don't know how long that's going to be, but I need to get ready. So I'm going to have to start packing. So they've sent me a text message and an email to say that it's going to be couriered back to me if you paid for that service, which I think I did. Um, you can collect it, but that's going to take me all day to get there and back. So I'll keep you posted as to how long that is, but I reckon it might turn up maybe tomorrow or the next day. And then I think from there, I'm going to be probably flying out within the next week i reckon which is a bit scary isn't it jasmine yeah yeah so make sure as well if i know this has been such a long video because it's been such a long process um but yeah so make sure that you're subscribing to see that whole journey as well um leaving my babies behind for the first time ever and she's going to come visit me so she doesn't need a visa she's coming as a tourist i think it's i'm not sure how long you can go for but this is for a working visa all right so i'll let you know when i've got it and then that will be the last little bit on this video which is if you've got questions about it leave me in the comments below if i can answer them then i will well it's another day i'm looking a bit ropey the house is a mess because i'm starting to have a sort out look what's going on <laughs> so it's time to start packing because in here contains my visa yes it's arrived it arrived today 
I am feeling excited now. I never felt this was going to happen. Did you get that impression? So yeah, I've got my little wallet there with my little visa inside it. It's just a piece of sticky paper. I won't show you obviously for security, but they stick it inside on one of the pages um, with all of your details. And they've sent me a slip of paper. It's written in Greek as well. So I'm going to take that with me. I don't know what it means, but just in case. In fact, I've got my, my lovely friend Anna is Greek. I could ask, I could ask them. Um, Anyway, I am excited. I don't know when I'm going to be going, but I think I've probably got about five days notice. So I need to really, really sort my stuff out. Hand luggage, little luggage. <laughs> but that's going to be a whole other pack with me video. So if you have enjoyed this video and it's helped you to find out about applying for your long term visa, I'm very late in the day now for the season. So you may be looking at this for next year, 2024. But do take heed from a lot of the tips that I've given you. Make sure you're really, really thorough. Um, it's very important. And I think that mine's been delayed quite a lot because I didn't really, I didn't really have a sense of urgency about me, but I felt like I did. Um, and I was chasing a lot, but yeah, definitely that medical certificate. I'll link the guys below. I've got Zoom doc. Definitely go to them rather than do what I did. And if your GP's helpful, that's even better. Um, but mine couldn't help me. So I'll see you when I look a bit better and um, when I've hopefully got a little bit of sunshine on me I found out from my colleagues today that we can go for a snorkel in the afternoon and of course if you're interested in reading the book which is going to be called whitewashed no one else knows that yet um then I will encourage you to sign up for my newsletter which is in the description box and you can find out all about the writing process of that um and how I found things so really going on a journey mentally as well as literally geographically um do let me know how things are with you applying for a visa i look forward to seeing you in whatever video you see next all right so take care and bye bye for now i would absolutely love to have you along for this series where you can see me go to greece and just see how i got on because trust me there's quite a story for this so please do subscribe and hit that notifications bell and i will see you very soon